Hello YouTube, we're going to do a quick video today about building a financial model and understanding financial model drivers. So we're starting with the revenue side of, of model and just breaking down from revenue into a driver and understanding why that is important. So what we'll look at is revenue. Um, so if we start by building some revenue um, forecasts. So what I'll do is I'll bring in a revenue set of assumptions. So if let's just call it revenue. So what we're going to do with this is this will set us as a base and then we will drive things down from here. So let's just say we're selling widgets. So widget one and widget two. And for the year, let's just say we're going to sell 500 or $5,000 a month. And we'll for widget one and then for widget two, we're going to sell 10,000 a month. So you see, we've done a quick forecast um, for revenue and it's great. It gives us a starting position. We can see the revenue. But what the, the impact here or the, the hard thing that we can't see from this is we can't see whether any growth in this occurs from the pricing or the volumes. So are we selling more or are we increasing our prices to get to the same thing? From an analysis perspective, this is important down the track because when you're looking at company forecasts and looking at forecasts into next year, and explaining that to stakeholders, you want to be able to explain whether we're doing more of the same thing or we're changing prices because they have they do have um, potentially different impacts on how your business runs. So that might mean you need to carry more inventory, so more working capital requirements. So let, let's just go to the next step where we build out the breakout of what that looks like. So this is what we would call a, a driver. So we're going to um, build out a section called revenue unit times price. So in simplistic terms, the basic or the first driver or actually any set of driver uh, for a business can always be broken out into units and prices. So no matter what your business does, you can always roll it up to a revenue amount or a revenue figure. But the first level of driver is breaking that revenue amount into a unit or a price. So we're going to do that. We're going to go revenue and we're going to have that as a revenue amount. Um, so as you can see, as I'm going, I'm styling my file of styling myself. Um, so it becomes clear for the user down the track that, uh, and, and we have a def default way of doing it, but it becomes clearer for the user down the track that anything that is green is an assumption. So that's for the user of the model, the input numbers or uh, percentages or you know whatever it is that needs to go into um, the, the input cell. So, as you can see, I, put, I have a starting point here where I've done the same thing as I had before, uh, where I've got dollar figures and um, I've allowed for a space. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to break this out into units or volumes. You know, we can bracket that. And if we start building this out so we can have our first layer of drivers, so we'll call this total um, units or volumes we're going to now have the same uh, and then we've got a separate layer called prices and if I also use the same logic so I'm now going to have a, so I'm going to have a section now for my units and prices and to keep my model consistent um, we do use a piece of software, it's called Medano. It helps us to um, make sure that the way we build a model is consistent across the columns. So we're not 
you know, having to, you know, copyright, make sure that everything is aligned. But um, anyway, that that's just, um, you know, there, there's lots of add-ins, macro software out there, but, you know, it, it's just whatever you do to try and help um, the model build process, you know, if it helps you, great. So what we've got here is breaking out units and prices. So if all I do is, and this is obviously very simple, uh, simplistic, where we're all we're thinking about is breaking it down one layer. So the same revenue up top could be represented by fi uh, something priced at $5,000 and we sell one of them each. So we get to a revenue of the same amount. Great. Separately, if we go to the second widget, what we might start doing is that actually could be the same $5,000 or, or, you know, you probably think it's a separate product, but it could maybe, let's just use the example of two and a half um, and that's four loads or four lots of two and a half. Now, you might think that that's somewhat, um, you know, obvious or unimportant, but when you're trying to explain the business model and how your business operates, it's important to be able to distinguish your different revenue lines because one, the resourcing for it will be different. The margins for each line might be quite different and understanding how revenue growth impacts margin um, is quite important. You know, so for example, through from July through to December, we might actually want to increase our prices. Um, and then, so if we can bring the price in line to to you know widget one we might only need to sell two of them to get to the same revenue figure or if we sell four we're all of a sudden we're increasing our productivity and again depending on the costs and whether that reflects in the same way we might also be increasing margins as a percentage so very important to understand and very important to break out um, revenue into drivers and Remembering from a modeling perspective, the first level of drivers is always units and price. So we'll do videos um, down the track where we break out the drivers or what we call the driver tree down even further so that we can understand, well, units can actually be many things. You know, depending on the business that you're working in, it could be a bed. So, you know, we work in health a lot. So we have healthcare and aged care and, um, you know, hospital beds. So... In those cases, a unit could be as simple as how many beds or how many appointments or how many doctors. So units are, um, are the kind of big part that drives revenue, well, along with prices, obviously, but um, changes in units and changes in prices, it's very important to understand where where the distinction and where the breakdown uh, breakout occurs. So. Yeah, hopefully that was helpful in trying to teach some basic revenue or basic driver uh, detail and how to break out drivers in the model.